Hey guys, what's going on? Crypto Clay here. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News. Today we're going to be talking about the problem that is occurring on Twitter right now, crypto Twitter specifically. Anytime somebody prominent in the crypto Twitter space posts something on Twitter, a tweet, an article, a video, what have you, it's always filled with bots. And before we get into this, I would just like to say that my condolences are with the UK today and the, the Queen's family because they lost a truly great and admirable person today. Queen Elizabeth was an amazing human being. She did a lot of great things for the UK, and she will absolutely be missed by a lot of people in this world. And so I just want to give my condolences over there today. I say that because I just found out about this, this news of Queen Elizabeth passing on Twitter. So Twitter is a great resource for a lot of reasons. A lot of people in the crypto space use it to communicate with one another, talk about things that are happening, upgrades, updates, things of that, that nature. And so it's, it's a wonderful resource for those things. Also communicating and engaging with other people in the community that you don't know, that you've never met, it's awesome for those types of things. And so to have every single tweet that is sent out by somebody in the crypto sphere be plagued with bots, it's really becoming an issue. And the article that I wanted to share with you guys today is on Cointelegraph and it's titled Community Calls Out Bots Spamming Crypto Twitter Threads. The first thing that I wanted to share with you guys was... Crypto analyst Lark Davis, as you all know, is another YouTuber that makes crypto videos. And it's funny that they mention this here because the other day I literally took a screenshot of all of the responses on one of his tweets and it was nothing but bots responding to his tweet. And I posted that to my own Twitter account. So it's it's funny that that's the first person that they mentioned. Crypto analyst Lark Davis posted a screenshot of bots pretending to be the Binance CEO Changpeng Zhao. Davis tagged Twitter and urged them to sort out the issue. The analyst described Twitter threads as a bot wasteland, and I completely agree with that sentiment. I am absolutely seeing all of the same things that everybody else is. Lark Davis, though, it appears like he has some of the worst issues with bots right now. If you go to his Twitter account and see anything that he posts, it's literally, why is nobody talking about this? And Cointelegraph up here, you can see a tweet that they posted yesterday. They made a meme out of it. No one, absolutely no one. Crypto bots in replies, why is nobody talking about this? It's funny because that's all we're seeing. That's the response that is given so basically what what's playing out is a bot will post a tweet in response to somebody in the crypto Twitter sphere and then another bot will post a response to that tweet saying why is nobody talking about this and it's really becoming an issue because you have to scroll through loads and loads of these bot responses in order to see any other comments on these tweets. So if you have to do that, eventually people are either going to stop using Twitter altogether or they're just not going to be communicating with one another anymore. And it's just going to be one person posts something and then somebody else posts something entirely different and refuses to comment on somebody else's post because it's just not worth it. This is becoming a real issue and I urge Twitter to find a way to, to get around this. All of these bots that are popping up, there has to be a way for the algorithm to block these. There has to be. If somebody has zero followers, and they're just spamming tweet after tweet. I think like after like the 10th tweet of posting the same exact thing, that bot account should probably get banned or blocked or whatever they want to do. I mean, obviously, 
it starts getting into that gray area of what is censorship at that point. And, and that's completely understandable, but in its current state, it is just not fun to be on crypto Twitter, and a lot of people are feeling the same exact things. Crypto Bushi posted, why is nobody talking about this? A garment made purely of crypto Twitter scam messages, day 190, my full unedited creative process for the piece below. So let's look at this, guys. It's actually pretty funny. Look. All of these spam responses, they're making a collage or a clothing out of all of these responses. And then here is all of the actual responses. So a lot of people, a lot of these bots will post a YouTube video. And then, like I said before, it'll have another response saying, why is nobody talking about this? For the majority of people that are in crypto Twitter, they immediately recognize this as spam and scams and the like. But people that are brand new to crypto that have never been involved in crypto, if this is the first thing they see, they might click on those videos. And that is exactly how scammers make money. So it's unfortunate. I really do hope that they find a solution and fast because this is getting entirely out of hand. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It helps my channel grow. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Crypto Clay out.